you'll be like, what the hell this fellow is doing? Hello hippies, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and consider subscribing. This is just a first impression of my ride on a G310GS bike. So I didn't get much of a time to test each and everything. Moreover, I feel that I'm not technically so strong enough to test each and every bit of the bike in such a short time. If you are looking for a review or maybe ownership kind of a thing, this is definitely not the video. This is just my impressions. So mostly I will be testing the handling part of it, the brakes, the power and whichever I can get a feel of in the first 15 minutes that's what I'll be mostly talking on Okay. Showing one right now. Okay. One down all up. So between one and two is the neutral. So we can just go up the road and come. Down. Okay, fine. Idling a little low. Okay. Sure, sure. So first time on the GS. Little tall, right? Yeah. You can go with a low seat. Okay. More, so what's the seat height of this one? Two thirty eight. Two thirty eight. So it will be around seven eighty eight hundred, right? So seat uh, height. Yeah, 835. 835. Okay. 785. Okay. It's very comfortable on this one. It's just like uh, sitting on some sofa or somewhere. So, especially the lower back, right? It has cushioning. So, this one, it has a nice uh, way to lean your lower back. So, longer rides and all, you will be really comfortable. Something which you instantly feel about this bike. He asked me to take U-turn and come back. I directly came ahead and going somewhere else. He will be pissed off, I guess. He will be like, what the hell this fellow is doing? Okay, is this a one way? No, luckily. So, power... It has that initial uh, torque which is really good for uh, adventure kind of bikes so that's one thing to like about this one it's ready to bounce okay handling i still didn't get uh, a nice chance to check the handling Brakes, okay, not so aggressive. Brakes are definitely not aggressive. You need to be little careful.
सो बोथ द फ्रंट एंड रेयर ब्रेक्स आई आई फील दे आर लिटिल सॉफ्टर द बाइक इज डेफिनेटली टॉल फॉर माई हाइट सो ही जस्ट सेट दैट देर इज एन ऑप्शन फॉर लोअरिंग द सीट हाइट Okay, brakes are progressive, but not uh, very aggressive, and uh, you don't feel the instant bite. So handling is good. The handlebar is wide enough. I really don't have chance to actually go on potholes or anywhere. It's easy enough to stand on. Not sure if this is the stock uh, windshield. If it is highways, I feel you should be increasing the height of the windshield. If it is adjustable, if not, uh, you need to buy a new windshield. definitely a positive feeling if you see i can't reach uh, the ground so easily i can tip toe on this bike but not uh, flat foot on it should check out the lower seat uh, option if you are somewhere around 5 uh, 6 or below that otherwise this is a comfortable pretty comfortable bike so the only downside of this bike is uh, the price it is really a costly and expensive bike somewhere around 4 lakhs is the on road price in uh, bangalore so that to for a single cylinder and 300 cc bike so most of that money is going for uh, the badge bmw badge it is definitely a premium looking bike no doubt about it but are you really willing to spend 4 lakhs for this that solely depends on your interest and if you are a price sensitive person like uh, most of us you will definitely think twice or more than that before buying this bike the reason is you are getting the interceptor for 3 lakhs and uh, you have dominar and you have uh, du 390 and uh, rc 390s around uh, 3 lakhs when you have a lot more powerful and uh, and bikes which are easier to manage
It's been so long I came. I hope my friend is keeping him occupied. Or else he would be pissed off by now. So it's been more than 15 minutes I came for the test ride. And if I had went in the route which he said, I will reach back the showroom in 2 minutes. So is this bike worth going for a longer test ride or at least requesting for a longer test ride? Definitely yes. So will I be buying this bike? Yes, in case if I didn't had uh, Street Triple and if I didn't had Dominor and if I am directly upgrading from uh, the, my first bike Apache probably I wouldn't be thinking about money much because uh, I love BMW I really love BMW so I wouldn't be thinking so much to buy this bike even if it is uh, 3 and a half or 4 lakhs So as I have other bikes and if you are price sensitive, you should definitely think if it is worth uh, 4 lakhs. Otherwise the bike is, uh, I feel it's definitely good, a premium bike. So it comes with a stock Metzilla? Metzilla, yeah, yeah. This just comes with machine. What you see on the bike is all stock. What we do is the same 40,000.